Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Today, we're going to be looking at the top 10 things you didn't know about Angela Merkel. One of the world's most powerful leaders, German Chancellor Angela Merkel is preparing to face re-election for a fourth term, so we thought now would be the perfect time to get to know her a little better. Number 10. Merkel is the world's most powerful woman. And she has been for 10 years. Forbes named Merkel the most powerful woman in the world in May 2016 for the 10th time in a row. Not only is she the leader of one of the world's most prosperous countries, Merkel is frequently cited as the de facto leader of the European Union thanks to her longevity as chancellor. Number 9. Merkel is afraid of dogs. She won't blink in diplomatic standoffs with world leaders, but there is one thing that makes Angela Merkel quiver. Dogs. Her phobia can be tracked back over 20 years to 1995, when she was reportedly bitten quite badly. One man who tried to leverage this was none other than Vladimir Putin. When Merkel visited Russia for the first time as chancellor, Putin gave her a plush toy dog as a welcoming gift. But that was just the beginning. Putin's imposing black Labrador Connie was a guest during a photo op between the two leaders, leading to some snaps of a very uncomfortable looking Merkel. Putin asked at the time, the dog does not bother you, does she? To which Merkel replied in perfect Russian, she doesn't eat journalists after all. Putin denies deliberately taking advantage of Merkel's dog phobia, saying that he didn't know that Merkel was uncomfortable around the four-legged mutts. But Merkel didn't seem to believe him, later remarking of the incident, I understand why he has to do this, to prove he's a man. He's afraid of his own weakness. Number 8. Merkel was a scientist before a politician. Using her degree in physics and doctorate in quantum chemistry, Angela Merkel broke glass ceilings in the scientific community long before she conquered the political arena. When working as a research scientist at the Theoretical Chemistry Department of East Germany Academy of Sciences, she found that she was alone as the only woman. Some political pundits have traced Merkel's thoughtful, analytic approach to political problems back to her days in the science lab. Number 7. Merkel is an avid soccer fanatic. It's become a yearly ritual for Merkel to pose for photos with the Germans World Cup team inside their dressing room. And she even has a favorite player, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Merkel watched the Euro 2008 match alongside Schweinsteiger, who was suspended at the time, and the two formed quite a bond. So much so that the press have enjoyed joking about the pair's close relationship. One newspaper, Die Zeit, even published a series of fictional love letters between the two. Perhaps the long-running joke was inspired by the time Merkel visited the team's locker room to congratulate them on a strong game, and she supposedly accidentally saw Schweinsteiger naked. Number 6. Merkel is a quarter Polish. In fact, thanks to her Polish grandfather, the Chancellor was almost born Angela Kazimierczak instead of Angela Merkel. Her grandfather, Ludwig Kazimierczak, was not the proudest Polish national, and after he'd immigrated to Berlin and given birth to his first son, Merkel's father, Ludwig's family decided to cut their Polish roots and Germanize their family name to Kasner. Angela took her first husband's surname, Merkel, when they married in 1977. While they later divorced, she retained the name. Number 5. Mutti. Speaking of Angela Merkel's name, the story behind her nickname is just as interesting. While she doesn't have children of her own, saying that it just didn't happen and I don't make a great thing about it. She is known affectionately by her supporters as Mutti, German for mummy. In fact, you know that World Cup team that we mentioned a couple entries ago? The players say that having Merkel around to support them is motivation for them, an obvious play on the Chancellor's popular nickname. Number 4. Merkel is a very good impressionist. She may be known for rarely cracking a smile, but Merkel has a good line in impersonations of famous world leaders. Her marks have included names as famous as former French President Nicolas Sarkozy, former U.S. Vice President Al Gore, Pope Benedict XVI, and, of course, Vladimir Putin. 
Number three, the Merkel Raute. You may not have noticed it consciously, but now that we've flagged it, you'll see it every time you're faced with a picture of Merkel. The Merkel Raute, also known as the Merkel Diamond, Merkel's rhombus, and the Triangle of Power, is the Chancellor's signature hand gesture and has been described as one of the most recognizable hand gestures in the world. Copying the Merkel Raute is easy. Simply place your hands in front of your stomach, then have your thumbs and index fingers meet in the shape of a diamond. When asked about the iconic gesture, Merkel remarked, there was always the question, what to do with your arms? That's how it came about. Number two, Merkel was asked to be a spy. Back in the late 1970s, Merkel was given an opportunity which she ultimately turned down. But if she hadn't, world history would be very different. She was asked to join the East German secret police, also known as Stasi. Had she taken up the offer, it's very unlikely that Merkel would have been able to later follow a career in politics. As many politicians in reunified 1990s Germany frowned on past associations with the Stasi. Ultimately though, it is academic. Merkel refused the post, suggesting that she would be a terrible spy. Number one, Merkel is Europe's longest serving elected female leader. It's one thing to be born into power like Queen Elizabeth II, but it's another to be elected into it. After over 11 years in power, Angela Merkel is nipping at the heels of Margaret Thatcher's innings. And if she wins re-election and sees out her full fourth term, she will become the longest serving elected female leader in world history. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Please subscribe to Daily Top 10. Please subscribe to Daily Top 10.